So today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the Voice of the Year Part 2 and I've just downloaded the beta release and I'm going to play with it and show you what it's all about. Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. My name is Simon. So let's have a look and dive in and see what this Voice of the Year Episode 2 is all about. So as you can see, I've just downloaded the latest beta version of Home Assistant 2023.5.0b1. And this has now got the latest information all about Year of the Voice Chapter 2. And this is really exciting, I think, um, especially after my recent video where we talked about using the Alexa for uh, controlling your systems. Um, Amazon is basically cutting back because they're losing huge money on those devices. So the fact that Home Assistant is allowing for this um, inbuilt voice recognition and text-to-speech, I think is really exciting. So let's have a look at it. Um, so if we go into settings and we go down here, you'll see that they've added a new section here called voice assistance. So if we click in here, you will see that this is the voice assistance. So we have the Google Assistant, the Alexa, which I'm using at the moment, and then we have this new version, which is the Assist. Now, um, as standard, it has here the Home Assistant Cloud. So because I'm using Nabucasa, um, I have access to uh, cloud processing of my voice in the Home Assistant Cloud. So obviously, going out to Home Assistant, but not going to a big cloud or a cloud basically where um, your data is being sold. We trust Home Assistant and Nabucasa to use our data and not to sell it on to other parties. So you can either, with the system, you can either select to use the Home Assistant cloud system for processing, or you can actually go along and download they do have some local versions that you can download. So you can use a system called Whisper for the um, text-to-speech or Piper for this, the speech recognition. So I haven't actually tried this as yet, but the detailed instructions are available. <clears throat> if you want to do it for yourself, go along to the full uh, version of this live stream and you can see how to do that. Personally, I'm quite happy using the Nabucasa cloud. So you can select multiple languages here. So as you can see, I'm keeping it in English, but the beauty is that there's multiple language selection. Now, when you select your conversation agent, you can either select Home Assistant or you can go and use OpenAI as your agent. And for text-to-speech, once again, um, I've got Home Assistant selected here. We also have the option here of different um, um, accents. So for example, mine's set to New Zealand because I'm living in New Zealand, so I've set my locale. But I could say I want it to be an Australian, British or Canadian English, for example. So that is for your speech to text, but you can also select it here for text to speech. And you'll see here with text to speech, you can either use um, Google Translate or the Home Assistant Cloud. And we have a couple of voices that we can select for. So for example, I'm going to take Molly Neutral. I'm going to go try voice and I'm going to go. Hello. How can I assist? So not a bad voice. The other one, Michelle Neutral. This is a bit of an odd voice, I must admit. Let's just go to that one. Michelle Neutral. Hello. How can I assist? So yeah, my choice out of those two would be Molly Neutral. <clears throat> so that's where you go in and you set it up. They also do have at the top here, so if we go in there, we can actually select a debug mode where you can actually see if you're running a speech recognition, you can actually check to see if there's any errors or things that come back and you can then report that back to Home Assistant so that they can do some more research and find out what's going on. So the problem that I came up with was that I was not actually, I thought I could just plug a USB based microphone into my Home Assistant Yellow, <clears throat> but unfortunately that didn't work. So what they're suggesting you do is use this little guy over here, the M5 stack 
uh, Echo Smart Speaker Development Kit. So I've actually just placed an order for one of these. Um, as you can see, there are still 390 of these available on um, AliExpress. I'll put a link in the description below so you can request yours. But this looks like a great option for actually using. So you're going to upload this with the ESP home code, which is already available. And you'll see there is the little ESP32 Pico. And then you're plugging into it this speaker and microphone kit. So this looks like a really cool option. As you see, pretty affordable, 23 New Zealand dollars. So I've just placed my order for that. Hopefully the shipping will be quick. Uh, personally, I found AliExpress to be really slow at the moment. I'm not quite sure why, but hopefully that will come quickly. Now, currently they don't have a wake word. Apparently that is still in development. So there's a little button that you would press on this M5 stack speaker and you would then speak into it to get the rec voice recognition working. So I can't test that yet because I'm waiting for that to be delivered. But if we go here, I can go to my home assistant up here and I can, for example, go into my speech mode and I can ask it to turn on lights, for example. So I can say turn on, um, let's see if I can remember which one it is. Was it bed lamp? Let's just see. We'll click that and there we go, turned on light. So it is working, the assist side is working, but just my, my um, voice recognition is not working at the moment because of me not having that M5 stack microphone. So it'd be interesting to see if there is a way to actually get a USB mic to plug directly into the Raspberry Pi or the um, Home Assistant Yellow to get that to work. But as of this stage, I cannot seem to find how to do that. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week. Great to hear your feedback. If anyone has got this to work yet, speak to you again. Bye then.